Next step is to um, replace the um, injector. Uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the 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 pump, the um, the the high pressure pump, and it's sitting right there. So um, this pump is new and is functional, but uh, I made a mistake of using the wrong pump. Uh, I thought this is a 6.5 according to the year of the vehicle, which is a 94. Uh, but this engine has been swapped and they put a 6.2 liter in here. And uh, I did not know, I put the pump on, it runs okay, but the RPM was way over a thousand RPM. And I didn't know why. So I started to do some research and you look, Back here, there were some telltale signs. I forgot what it was it a couple of years ago, but you can see from back here where the pressure pressure sensor is. Uh, there's a difference between the six five and the six two. So that's one of the telltale signs that people told me that this is a six two. So uh, I bought a uh, um, a six two uh, pump um, injector pump that I'm gonna replace this with and then probably put this on eBay or something because uh, this one is it new and it barely used. Um, so in order to do that, all this stuff has to uh, to come out, take the turbo out. While I'm at it, I'm probably gonna replace the um, uh, the head covers, the, the, uh, the valve covers. Um, I bought some new ones for that probably clean everything up and make it look nice and neat. And uh, <clears throat> on the new uh, valve cover, I'm, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap into somewhere here uh, for the the drain from the turbo. Uh, so we'll get that done as well. So that's the plan for the next few weeks. All right, so I started to um, get into the engine, took the uh, intake manifold uh, apart. Just a lot of, you know, uh, nuts and bolts that need to be removed to, uh, to get the, um, the intake manifold out. But my um, main objective is trying to get to this injector pump. And it's sitting right here uh, under the intake manifold. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just, you know, uh, just taking all the bolts out. The intake comes right out, leaving the fuel rails behind. And the fuel pump or the uh, injector pump is connecting to um, a drive system that's in here. And there's a sprocket and a chain that uh, we can get into a little bit later. Um, but now I have a lot of room to work with and uh, while I'm at it I'm probably gonna make this uh, engine look better by um, cleaning up all this stuff I'm probably gonna take all these rails out and clean them uh, in order to get to the belt cover these need to come off anyway they're, they're very hard to bend so all that's gonna be taken out that's my plan um, and then starting to put the new, new valve cover on, put a little drain pipe or drain lug in here for the turbo while I'm at it. And probably just try to paint some of these, get it to not, uh, get rusty and, uh, clean things up. But anyway, so that's the plan for the next few days. Okay, so at this point, I got all the fuel rails uh, coming off from uh, from the injector pump. So now uh, you can see that the um, the head cover is uh, accessible. Now we're just gonna take some bolts out, loosen this bracket, 
and I can take this out and get a new one on. Uh, put a tap on it. Well, uh, welding a, um, a bung right here for the oil return line coming from the turbo. That's my next uh, thing on the list to get done. Uh, this injector pump needs to be replaced. So that's, uh, that's gonna get done. Same thing on the other side. This bracket needs to come off. And uh, I can go ahead and take this out and replace it too. Get, get everything cleaned up. I'm just about to remove the the uh, injector pump. And um, as you can see, I, I removed most of the fuel lines uh, just to get out of the way and get it cleaned up before I put it back in. Um, so injector pump is pretty simple to replace actually when you get everything out of the way. Um, the, the actual process is not too bad. So um, what happened is you're gonna want to take three bolts. That's one here, one here, and one on the other side, which I already took off uh, right there. And there's like a bracket up here um, that's mounted to this bolt. So I took that out, took the nut out, so there's two left. And uh, just disconnect all your, um, all the vacuum lines and the fuel return is here. The fuel inlet is here. Um, and of course, this is the outlet. That's where it came out. Uh, in the front, um, See if I can find a flashlight. So what happened is, uh, yeah, you can see this. There's a bolt in there. There's three of them, and you have to rotate the crank to um, to get to all three. You can only get to one at a time, and and that is um, bolted the. This end of the injector do a sprocket that's inside. So um, you gotta take those three bolts out, take these three back here out, and then um, then you can just pull the entire unit out this way. And um, so the whole process is not too bad. Now the only thing is, uh, and I'll, I'll show you when I pull this out, there's a little pin. Um, on the, at the end that you need to know exactly where it is uh, so you can rotate your new injector pump and put that pin on the same location. Uh, if you don't, uh, you're going to mess up your timing and that's really uh, a bad thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get all this bolt trial and uh, then uh, we'll show you what I got. Okay, so I'm at the point um, that I'm uh, getting the new um, injector uh, pump back on. And uh, the, the procedure is quite simple. It's just, uh, you know, you need to be real careful. So, um, so basically, uh, you got to get the shaft to be in the same position as you pull the old one out. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We can get in here and show you where the pin is at. So you look inside there, you can see there's a pin. Uh, to the right, around like nine, uh, nine o'clock. That's the pin that goes through a hole. And that pin needs to be aligned with that hole. That pin belongs to the injector pump. And make sure that it lines up because that's part of your timing. And you screw that up, timing is gonna be messed up. And so, and then that allow all the bolts to line up. So if you look in there, I already got a couple of bolts in. There's a hole right there that you need to get a bolt on. And um, so the trick is not to drop, well, 
uh, you, you need to not to drop this bolt right here into uh, into the bottom of, of that because if you do you have to take like the entire water pump and that whole assembly out to get it out uh, because it's all internal um, so the way I do it is uh, I just uh, put in put in a lot of grease just so it's, it's got a lot of gripping and then I put in this extra long socket this is a half inch bolt or oh, a half inch socket so you squeeze it in like that and it retains in there pretty good you can see I flip it upside down shake it and it doesn't come off so that's how I got it in uh, without dropping it down to the bottom don't try to tape around it or things like that because the tape could fall down then you got yourself a problem too so um, Anyway, I've been very successful uh, with the first two doing that. Uh, just make sure that you get these both all tightened so this whole thing can be lined up um, before you get all these kind of bolts on. Otherwise, it'll just be crooked and it won't come in. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, after that, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get the valve covers out and uh, keep going with the build. But, um, yeah, so far so good. It's starting to look pretty decent. Okay, so uh, quick update before I close up uh, with the uh, intake manifold. Uh, basically, um, the injector pump is put back on. All the hydraulic, uh, hydraulic lines are uh, put back. I, um, I got the pump in first. And then I start out with the lines at all the way in the bottom first because you can see it's very difficult to turn with the wrench if you have all of this in at the same time. So I just do the two bottom first and then to do that one, that one, and then same thing on the other side. Should be able to uh, get to it and torque it up real good. So uh, yeah, got, got it all back. And uh, these are real easy to remove and install well at least in my application it is uh looks rusty but it comes right out um went ahead and painted all in here just to make sure it doesn't get rusted and um yeah so i'm, I'm just about to get the uh the intake manifold back on um yeah so this is where we at uh currently oh yeah not sure i went over this on the other video but um i uh, i welded this return line or return line from the turbos right here. Uh, I weld on the inside. You can see there's still some weld spot that burned through. Um, some cosmetic issue, but I'm, I'm not gonna grind it down too much work. But um, just paint it on top and call it good.